Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Hope you're all doing okay and staying safe. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you what it is really like to be in a West End show. I've been in a fair few West End shows myself and there's a lot of things that people don't realise about being in a West End show. When I speak to people about it, I'm often surprised at certain things they think may happen when you're in a West End show, and also they're sometimes surprised by the things that I mention that happen. So I thought that I would share a few of these with you today. I'm gonna share five things with you today, just so that I'm not here boring you for too long. These five things are some of the realities of being in a West End show. So I feel like there's probably a lot of things that you already know about being in the West End. I've definitely done videos on it before, you know, about secrets of being in West End shows and things like that that you may not have known. These things are more of the realities of what it's actually like to be in a West End show and things to expect because some of these things I think people don't actually realise and I didn't realise some of them too so I think they're really helpful and interesting as well for you guys to know. Before we get into the video if you are new here hi my name's Georgie I'm an actor I've performed in the West End and in loads of different shows and I started this channel to share my tips tricks and insights about the industry with you guys so I do loads of backstage vlogs song covers, audition advice, drama school audition tips, all that good stuff. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, click the subscribe button and don't forget to turn your notification bell on as well to make sure you are notified every time I put a new video up. Also, if you like a bit of Instagram, follow me over there as well because I put up a lot of sort of quick fire tips and behind the scenes stuff over there, like in reels and things like that. But all that being said, I'm gonna get into the video now and share with you what it's really like to be in a West End show. If you're an aspiring actor, an aspiring performer, and you really wanna be in the West End, this would be a really good video to check out. So the first thing is something that I'm sure most of you will probably know on the surface, and that is that you will be performing eight shows a week. This has up until now been the norm throughout the West End. Most shows do eight shows a week, so that's every night apart from usually a Sunday. However, a lot of shows are now doing Sunday shows. Um, and then you will have two matinees a week and that matinee will usually fall on a Saturday and then maybe like a midweek show on maybe a Wednesday or a Thursday. But that's the usual structure. So most people do know this, but then I think you really have to actually stop and think about that for a minute because you have to perform that show eight times a week. And I think that's something that not a lot of people realize when they're getting into it. I think a lot of people get caught up in the excitement of, you know, doing a new show or auditioning and getting a part. And that is all super exciting. But I think you also really have to think about the fact that you will have to perform a show, say Les Mis, for example, you will have to perform Les Mis eight times a week. Some shows and some parts do have alternates, which is a whole other ball game. Say for example, Jean Valjean. The person playing Jean Valjean will have an alternate who may do two of the shows a week for them. So they might do slightly less shows, but on the whole, you will usually be doing eight shows a week. And that can really take its toll mentally, physically, on you as a performer. It's really hard and it's something that I don't think people realize. And I, I didn't really realize it when I was sort of getting into it. I just knew I really wanted to be in shows and I love performing and I love I always loved going to watch musicals. But I do think if you want to take this seriously as a career, that's something you really need to be aware of going into it because you have to keep yourself going for all those eight shows. In terms of, you know, keeping it interesting for you, but also keeping it fresh for the audience because if you think about it, that audience is watching that show probably for the first time and the only time, you know, unless they really like the show and come back. But that's their first time seeing it. And you have to make it feel like it's the first time you're doing it as well so that they get the exact same experience as someone who came to watch it on opening night. That is super, super important. I know I'm saying something quite obvious in that there's eight shows a week, but what I'm saying is you really need to actually think about that. Wow, okay, eight shows a week. How am I gonna keep that up? How am I gonna make that happen? The next reality of being in a West End show is that you really need to think about your food. I like to think about food quite often anyway, but when you're in a West End show, you really need to think about food. In particular, timing of food, when you're gonna eat. Because if you think about it, you're doing a show say at 7.30 at night, you need to be in the building, like I've said in other videos, from about six o'clock for warm up. That's normally the time I eat dinner. You'd be getting ready or in a show at that point, so you can't really eat dinner at a normal time. So then you have to eat dinner a little bit earlier, but then when do you eat your lunch? It just, it is honestly, and it sounds so silly, but it's such, <laughs> Oh my God. It's so hard to figure out. It's like, when do I eat lunch? When do I eat dinner? Do I eat after the show? Do I eat before? Am I gonna to be too full for the show? Am, am I gonna have enough energy for the show? These are all things that you need to think about. And oh my gosh, it just, 
Sometimes it takes ages to get into the sort of pattern and set up for a show food wise. And you know, it just, it's really difficult to figure out. And that's something that I definitely didn't realize that I'd need to think about as much. And I really didn't give it enough attention in the start. And I think that's something, maybe I'll make another video on food and diet as an actor. But that's something that I think it's super important that I mention in this video. And also what you're eating as well, because if you're about to perform in Cats, you can't be sitting down to eat like a full, you know, three course meal at like quarter past seven because you're gonna be sick. <laughs> the third reality that I wanted to share with you is that this is your job. And that's again, something that seems quite obvious, but I think that's something that people forget because it's so fun and it's such an amazing job to have. I think sometimes people can forget that it is actually a job and it's, you know, you're getting paid to do it. You've got to deliver, you've got to get results and all the, all the kinds of things other jobs entail. Also apply to a job in the West End. It's a job and you know, you're getting paid for a service, you're getting paid to do something and you need to deliver on that service. Along the same lines as that, but going down sort of more of like a specific tangent is that the show has to be, as your job, your top priority. So you have to do everything in your power to make sure that you are going out there and delivering the best show that you possibly can. Things like drinking alcohol, going out late, going to parties, things like that. You have to be really strict with yourself and think, right, honestly, are these things going to affect my performance? And if they are, and you have to be really honest with yourself, then you can't do those things, you just can't. And everyone's different, but you have to be really strict with yourself, and you can't be, go if you've, you know, you've got a rehearsal at 10 a.m. the next morning, you shouldn't be staying out till 3 a.m. the night before, you just shouldn't. And people might disagree with me, but I just don't think that that's professional, I don't think that's right. Yeah, some people might be able to cope with less sleep, some people might be able to, you know, handle that, but I know for myself that I couldn't, and I mean, I still, I just don't think it's, gonna set you up your best for the next day. Like I said before, it is your job and that has to take a priority. If you know you've worked really hard for this job, you wanna make sure that you are taking care of yourself as much as you possibly can to give the best performance that you possibly can. This last point applies to you. In terms of your health, yeah, it's really important to prioritize the show, but it also works both ways. You have to look after yourself in all those ways to make sure the show is good. But also thinking about doing eight shows a week and most of the time quite a demanding show. Some shows maybe are more demanding than others, but I mean, for anyone, eight shows a week is quite a lot. And I think knowing that as well, you need to take care of yourself for yourself and that the show might take quite a toll on you. And so make sure that you're doing all those things, not just for the show, but for yourself too, looking after yourself because you don't want to get ill. Checking in with your mental health all the time is really, really, really important as well as your physical health. So making sure that you're doing all of those things to take care of yourself just for yourself too. Because the show is important, but you are also just as important as the show. So there you go, there's a little taste of reality for you, sharing with you what it's really like to be in a West End show. I'd love to know what you guys think. As always, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you were surprised by any of these or if there's any others that you would like to share with everyone, please leave them in the comment section. I absolutely love reading through your comments. If you enjoyed this video and you would like me to make more videos like this, give this video a thumbs up so that I know because I have loads more things that I could share with you on this subject. So yeah, just let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I hope you have a lovely rest of day and I will see you again in my next video. Bye!